Hi, my name is Esteban. I'm a student at Bluestem, and I will be showing you my LED cube. So basically, it's a cube made out of LEDs, lights up in different patterns. It's pretty cool. You know, you can program it any way you want. You know, um, one big challenge was uh, that there's this wire, okay, and this wire goes from the top all the way to the bottom in this cold label. C. And now, see, what the problem was is that I had that wire soldered from the bottom and here in the middle row and also on the third row, which was a huge mistake because that was blocking the connection to a ton of LEDs. So, right? And also with the, another wire, like I had one soldered here on the second row and soldered onto the third row and into the whole label C, which was also blocking the connection of LEDs. So what I did is I just took the solder off, you know, detached the, the wire from the rows, and look at that. <laughs> also, one other mistake was that these LEDs weren't lighting up. I didn't know what to do. So what I did is I looked at every LED and I noticed that I had too much solder on each LED, mostly on the top LEDs. So I took off the solder and the solder was connecting two wires that weren't supposed to be connected. So I took off the solder and I basically fixed everything. Time to explain how the LED cube works. <laughs> okay, now, well, you got these RGB LEDs, red, green, blue. You see how they're soldered into these holes and each hole has a specific letter and C each letter you got B G R and C well the you can see that the B G and R is red green blue so the the pin that represents that certain color goes into that certain hole. If you put it into the wrong hole, then nothing will work. And for the C one, is for the common pin. The longest pin is known as the common pin. So that that's important. That makes everything go round, round, round. So yeah, and then you got your AT Mega 328, which is pre-programmed, as you can see right here. It's a test. All right, and you got this decoder which helps the AT Mega328 program all these 27 RGB LEDs alright you got your headers there now these headers will help me reprogram and put a code to make them do other awesome patterns you got your transistors right there okay they turn E, like a certain row of LEDs on and off it's a switch and you got your 5 volt power supply which powers of course every LED as you can see this corner right here isn't lighting up which is isn't like a bad thing because that's what it does in the test okay and that's how it works